how to deploy a WordPress site on a VPS hosted by OVH. The first thing you'll need to do is open up your browser and then navigate to the following URL, ovhcloud.com or ovh.com. Once you're here, you'll want to hover over server and you'll want to click on virtual servers. Left click on it. Once you're here, you'll need to pick your VPS's specs. You have four choices, but you also have a starter VPS price. And that is the one I'm going to go with because for this guide, we will be only hosting one WordPress site on our VPS. So the starter pack of one CPU, two gigabytes of RAM, 20 gigabytes SSD, and 100 megabytes server speed will be plenty. You wanna click order here. You will now be on the configure your virtual private server page. Here you have the option to select another package. I'm going to stick with the starter. You also have the option now to choose your VPS's image. You have the option just to pick a distribution only, or you can pick distribution with application. And because we're going to be launching our VPS with WordPress, you're going to need to pick distribution with application, and you're going to pick the WordPress option. As you can see, pre-installed on Debian 8. Once WordPress has been selected, scroll down, and then you'll have the option to pick your server location. The best server for you is dependent on your IP address. As you can see, the UK London has been pre-selected for me, and I'm going to stick with it. Click Next, and click Next again. You'll now be brought to the order summary page, where as you can see, it's three euro excluding tax. That's about $3.50, which is really cheap for a virtual private server. Scroll down and then click login and pay. If you don't have an OVH Cloud account, you'll need to register and create an account. If you do, then you simply click login. You'll then be taken to the billing page where you'll need to put in your address and your billing details to make the purchase of the VPS. I already have a VPS for this guide, so I will not be buying another one. Once you've purchased your desired virtual private server, you'll be emailed the details to your VPS. You will not actually need to log into the control panel of OVH as the login details provided in the email will suffice. You can, however, log into OVH's dashboard to do a server reboot or to reinstall another operating system or an image. Okay, great. So once OVH has installed WordPress, you will have all the login details emailed to you. I have already downloaded the login details from my email address just for privacy sake, so I don't need to go back into my emails here. So I'm just going to open up the PDF that contains all the details to log into the WordPress site. So as you can see, the email contains the IP address of your server, the name of your VPS on OVH Cloud, the SSH login details, and then what's really relevant to you is the WordPress application and the WordPress login URL. So let's start off with that. So all you need to do is click this link in your emails to be brought to the login page for your WordPress site. And you'll be brought to this welcome page. So let's start by entering our site name. So I'm gonna go with Websplaining. And for my username, let's go with Websplainer. And then for the password, let's go with this automatically generated password. For the time being, we can always change the password later on and pick an email address. Once you've entered your email address, you'll have an option here that you can check or uncheck, which says discourage search engines from indexing the site. I'm going to check this because I don't want them to. However, it is up to search engines to honor this request. Once you've put in all your details, click install WordPress. And there you go, we've got a success message that says WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. You've got your username and your chosen password. Click login and you'll be brought to the login page of your WordPress site. Make sure you bookmark this link as it's the default link to log into your WordPress site. Now put in your username or your email address and your password. So I'm Websplainer and the password. And then you can check remember me or not remember me, whatever you prefer and click login. And there you go guys, welcome to your WordPress site's admin dashboard. And before we end the video, I just want to show you one more thing. So I'm going to go back to my downloaded emails here, the PDF that I have. And as you can see, we also have a second application here that says PHP my admin with another link to log into and another username and password. So let's click this link and let's go back to the PDF and copy our login details here. and then paste it in and click go. So you might be wondering what is PHP MyAdmin and it's basically a data management tool using MySQL 
You can view the database, such as the posts or users, or whatever your heart's desires. You can see the statuses. You can export your database or import it. There's many tools that you can utilize in PHP MyAdmin. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to hit that like button if it was helpful, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Why is it so to let you go?